My name is Paige Marshall and I'm the area curator for carnivores and primates here at the Baton Rouge Zoo. And with us today are our three Saimangs. We have Bud, Maxine, and Han Tu. And these are the endangered indigenous species to Malaysia, Thailand, and Indonesia. So what I have here today is a few strawberries and I'm gonna feed them and talk to you a little bit about Saimangs. Here you go, buddy. Han Tu's our youngest and he's six years old. Bud is the father up here and he's 36 and Maxine over there is 27 years old. And for all of those uh, staying at home with their kids today, Bud and Maxine totally feel you because Han Tu has all the restlessness of any three or four year old. Simons will typically live in family groups um, of one male and one female and then their offspring. The young females will tend to leave at about three or four years of age and then the younger males are kind of mama's boys, so they'll stay a little bit from six to eight years of age. Simangs are the only gibbon in their family, and their family is Symphalaga syndaculus. And syndaculus means webbed toe or fused toe. And you'll see on their bottom feet, their toes are actually fused together. Another interesting thing about Simangs is they have what's called a gular pouch. And that's actually just a really fancy term for a big throat pouch here. If you ever come out to the zoo and you see them singing, they'll expand that throat pouch and make all that woo, 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 noises. Um, they do that mostly in the mornings, and that's to kind of, they wake up and they say, hey, this is my territory, this is my place, and I'm having kind of a pretty good day, but don't come over. And then males and females, they'll form a monogamous pair typically, and they'll do what's called duetting. So they'll sing together, and duetting, out in the wild shows other Simangs or primates in their area that they do have a strong bond and they'll protect their territory. Simangs, you can see our guys here, they're doing what's called brachiating. So that's the typical primate arm over arm swinging. Simangs and gibbons are the only true brachiators. So it's kind of unique. That's the only primate that you will actually see swing arm from arm and that is like 90% of their locomotion. A Simang's day typically looks like 50% resting, followed by foraging and then sleeping. So of course you can see our Simang's are really interested in whatever's happening around their exhibit. And while y'all might be missing uh, coming out here and visiting us, I can promise you that the Simangs are missing seeing y'all and what you're wearing and what you're doing. Uh, we cannot wait to be open and have y'all back out here and enjoy the animals as much as we do.